What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here and today we're looking at the Ugreen AX900. So uh, this is a Wi-Fi 6 adapter and I actually got it for this display right here. Look at that price, $11.99 on sale and shocker, the horrible price, $12.99 when it's not on sale. You can't really beat those prices. So I'm actually excited to see what kind of speeds we get on this and we're gonna try it out right here on the screen. So we have our user manuals, all the normal stuff. I don't think we need any specific drivers for this at all, but here is the actual device. So very small form factor. Let's go ahead and open this up right here. The Ugreen AX900. This is, uh, like I said, Wi-Fi 6 and hopefully a better experience than what I have currently set up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and do a speed test and I, I'm just going to come over here and unplug the ethernet cable and we're just going to connect to the internet we'll do the ukla speed test i tend to trust them pretty well and we're just going to see what the speed is with the uh wi-fi there because the antennas are in the back so with the antennas in the back i have a worry that they're not going to be that great but by putting this in the front of the screen we might get a better result so let's try it without this is just a standard adapter here let's go ahead and allow we got about 275 now mind you this is a house that has 5.5 gigabit per second fiber internet up and down so this isn't amazing so we even got an error now let's go ahead and try this again see if maybe it was just waiting from the connection but we're already seeing some of the issues that happen with uh the current setup because the antennas are behind this big metal tv so 320 not too bad and upload seems to be about the same. So let's go ahead and go into our Wi-Fi settings. And we're gonna turn off the old adapter. So network and internet, we're gonna go to advanced, and then we're gonna go and turn off Wi-Fi and ethernet. All right, now we have no internet, and I'm gonna plug this in and see what happens. All right, so we've plugged it in. I may have made a slight mistake by turning off the internet because that also means we can't download the drivers automatically even if they did exist. So let's go ahead and <laughs> turn that back on. Now on the Ugreen, we're given a setup. So let's go ahead and run that. So I guess we didn't have to connect to the internet to get the drivers They're actually on the drive itself, which I'm always curious. Never mind, it's four megabytes. <laughs> and there we go. Now we have the Ugreen Wi-Fi 6. So let's go ahead and actually we are on the Ugreen, right? Yeah, I think we are. So disable this one. No, we were on this one. Never mind. Okay, so that's disabled. That's not connected. Perfect. I'm a mess, guys. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna see if we can find our network. I gotta enter a password. Don't look at my password. And we're connected. So we're gonna reload the page over here. Let's head back to speed test. What do you think? Is it gonna get better or worse? I actually have no idea. We're gonna find out today. It got worse, guys. I went out of my way to buy a new Wi-Fi card so that I could get a better connection, a better connection. And it's 130 megabytes per second slower. So this ad is no longer about Ugreen, I guess. Uh, this ad is about uh, this near hub display because it has a rather banger of a uh, Wi-Fi card built in. <laughs> Let's see if we can give this a little chance though. Let's go into our settings here and see what it's like. We're on 5 gigahertz. We're getting 540, 432. So not an amazing connection even being there, I guess. That's kind of interesting. We've got full connectivity. Let's do TX adaptivity. Let's see. Oh, I'm in the way and it's worse. No, it's just not great. They can all be winners. Sometimes a 12 card is just a $12 card, right? Um, to be honest, it's fairly steady connection i guess it's 100 to 200 megabits per second if that is around the range that you need this is going to do just fine the router is actually pretty far away so it's doing all right but i think it didn't quite live up to my expectations this time maybe go for a wi-fi 7 card or something sorry peace